Now you might think comparing Etsy and Shopify is like these two oranges, but actually it's more like this. You're comparing apples to oranges. Which one is actually better? It really depends. Etsy is a marketplace with existing customers and Shopify is a tool for you to build your own web shop. Both Etsy and Shopify have their own unique strengths and weaknesses, but they each provide a platform for you to sell physical and digital products. But which one is right for you if you're a beginner? Let's dive into the comparison. Hello internet people, my name is Robert and one of the main advantages of Etsy is its built-in audience. Etsy has hundreds of millions of visitors every month. So you have a large pool of potential customers just by having your product on Etsy. If you do well on Etsy, they will push your products higher on the list, which means higher income for you without the extra hassle of finding customers. With Shopify, your website is an island, isolated from the rest of the internet, and you need to bring customers to your website and ma to make any sales. Now, there are many ways of doing it. You can promote yourself on social media, write articles, and potentially rank on Google, or just pay for advertisements. But usually getting people on your website is one of the hardest things to do. That's why I'm gonna give this one to Etsy because they already have the audience and you don't need to hassle to get them to your website or to see your product. Let's talk about the beginner friendliness. Etsy is user friendly and easy to set up, making it a great option for beginners or those who don't have a lot of technical knowledge. You just need to watch a few tutorials on YouTube to get the hang of it. But Etsy just takes care of most other things when it comes to selling product online. On the other hand, Shopify is user friendly when comparing to other website builders, but there's still a steep learning curve if you're, if you're new to the world of e-commerce. You need to invest time in learning how to use it properly and get involved with things like setting up payment processing, fulfillment taxes, styling of the website and branding and so on. There's so many things you actually have to do. It's all doable, but the setup time is considerably longer than with Etsy. However, once you learn those skills, you can apply them anywhere else or even get a job in e-commerce, which is a well-paying career. So that's why I'm gonna give this point to Etsy as well. It's just so much easier to just set up that one listing or few listing and you're already online. You don't need to worry about all this setup uh, that you have to do with Shopify. Next, let's talk about pricing. Etsy has a fee of 20 cents per product listing. 6.5% transaction fee and 3% plus 25 cent payment processing fee. And then you have a 15% offsite ad fee. This means Etsy might use your product for advertising on other platforms like Google or Facebook, but you only pay this fee when someone makes a purchase from those ads. If you've made under $10,000 in the last year, you're allowed to turn off uh, these Etsy offsite ads when you are over 10,000, you are stuck, but you do get a lower rate of 12%. On the other hand, on Shopify, the cheapest plan starts at $29 per month and you get it cheaper if you pay for the whole year. Then you have payment processing fee of 2.9% plus 25 cents. Plus you will probably buy some plugins and maybe a custom theme. This means another 15 to $50 per month. You can easily see that the fixed costs are much higher on Shopify, but with higher volumes, Shopify becomes more attractive. So when starting out, Etsy is cheaper. You just pay 20 cents per listing. If you don't see any sales, that's the only cost. With Shopify, the bill keeps coming every month, no matter if you sell anything or not. If you want to play around with the cost, I've created a simple Google Sheets that you can download or copy and play around with the fees yourself. The link will be in the description. So in terms of pricing, I'm gonna give it to Etsy as well because when you're starting out, not having those fixed costs, is just so much easier. Next, let's compare how much you control with each platform. So far, it sounds like Etsy is a clear winner, but it's not that simple. On Etsy, you are a guest. You just open your tiny little shop and they do the rest. They own their relationship with the customer, so you're not even allowed to get their contact details. Etsy makes the rules about what is allowed and what is not, and looking at forums, Etsy cares more about customers than the independent sellers. You have to adhere to Etsy's policies and guidelines, which can limit your creativity and flexibility. If Etsy decides to close your shop for whatever reason, they can do that. It doesn't happen often, but there's a chance. Whereas with Shopify, it's just a tool. You own the whole process. 
You can build close relationship with your audience and own the branding and customer experience from start to finish. If you get fed up with Shopify, you can just take your website and move it to another platform like WooCommerce and your customers won't even notice that. You're just not so dependent on Shopify. So the point for control definitely goes to Shopify. You control from start to finish and you can really build up a good customer rela relationship directly with your audience. Next, let's take a look at customizability. Does that even work? You need to take a look. Yep, it's real. While Etsy allows some customization, it's very limited compared to Shopify. This can make it difficult to stand out from the other sellers and create a unique brand identity, especially since there is so much competition in many niches on Etsy. If you need more advanced features such as inventory management or shipping integrations, you may need to use third-party apps for this when, when on Etsy. Whereas with Shopify, it offers a range of features including product management, inventory management, order tracking, and shipping. They also have an app store where you can find third-party apps to extend your functionalities of your store. And there's just like thousands of them. On top of that, if you can't find a feature that you're looking for, you can always hire a freelancer that is specialized in Shopify. That's why the last point I'm gonna give to Shopify, just because there's so much more you can do with Shopify than with Etsy. Has this video been helpful so far? Then hit the like button so I know how you feel. So if you are a total beginner to selling anything online, then I would definitely start with Etsy. You get to dip your toes with low cost and without needing to think about the sales taxes and stuff like that. It's all taken care for you. You can also easily test what products have a demand and what doesn't work at all. But once you get going and have some revenue coming in, you should look into setting up your own Shopify store just to own the customer relationship and start building your own brand and keep it all under your control. On the other hand, if you already have a following on social media and feel confident that you can get people to visit your shop, then Shopify is the way to go and keep everything under your control again. Now that you know the difference between Etsy and Shopify, but without taking the first step, it's just an idea and you can get stuck on that. So I challenge you to start your shop today. That's why I've created the beginner tutorial for Shopify. You can see it here and for Etsy here. Just click on it and get started.